Welcome to Outdoor Travel Channel. Are you guys hungry? Well, it's Traeger Day, so let's get to cooking, everyone. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to, yes, Traeger Day. And today, we're cooking something different. And I saw a version of this, but I'm going to make my own version. We're making potato pizzas. <laughs> yep, so you're going to need two potatoes, and you're going to need some pepperoni, some tomato paste, and cheese, and I'll see what else I come up with. But, yep, and uh, we're going to be cooking at a high temperature for about an hour, and these should be really good. And I'm going to make some asparagus on the side, so here we go. Alrighty, we grabbed two potatoes, and then we got two spoons that we're going to use to keep from cutting through the potatoes as we slice them. We get our pan ready, and these are our ingredients. Minced garlic, lemon pepper, salt, black pepper, and olive oil. Now we're going to put all that in a bowl so it's a little easier to apply to the potatoes when I get them cut up. I'm obviously precisely measuring everything that goes into the olive oil. Uh, you kind of get the idea, I assume. And uh, yeah, I just put all this together and just make a little mix so it'll be just really easy to paint onto the potatoes and you'll see with that in a minute. So I get all this stirred up and then it's time to go and turn on the trigger. So you got to get it started first and also clean off the racks from the prior time I showed you <laughs> cooking and check my pellets and I'm using alder and fire it up and while I'm doing that it's time to cut up some potatoes. So once again, I'm using the spoons to keep from cutting all the way through the potatoes. It's not a surefire way, but it works pretty good. Uh, but yeah, just be patient. Cut your little slits in these and uh, you'll be ready to uh, load, of course, <laughs> uh, your goodies in the future. We're going to cook these first and then we're going to take them out an hour later and load the goodies into the slits. So yeah, just bear with me. So this is the pan I'm going to load them in and uh, what I'm going to do next is take my little olive oil con concoction <laughs> and really treat these potatoes good so uh, they don't burn and they get nice and uh, uh, cooked evenly. So yeah, I'm just painting it on and let it soak into the slits too as best as I can. Then I turn on my Traeger, fire it up to 375, which I'm really shooting for 350 and uh, load them up and it's time to cook them and this took me about an hour and a half to get them cooked all the way uh, Traeger is a little slower than the oven in the meantime it's time to make some fresh asparagus which will go with dinner tonight and this is a lot of asparagus so we're just going to kind of trim them here that's kind of the fibrous part split them in half and I'll show you how I like to cook my, uh, my asparagus I'm drying them off after I cleaned them and I put them in a pan that has olive oil and then I'm going to uh, treat the pan so nothing sticks and then I add olive oil to the asparagus then I add, uh, well I've got to mix them up first here then I add garlic and uh, this is the minced garlic and then I also add bacon bits and black pepper and uh, yeah it's good, it's really good, there's the bacon bits Anyway, yeah, good stuff. Just kind of get it all in there, mix them up a little bit, and you're ready to put them in the Traeger later in the day. I keep them refrigerated uh, before I use them. Now I'm just going to cut up some green onion tips, and uh, this is for my potatoes later, and I'm going to add bacon bits to it too, a different type of bacon bits. And I just put it all in a bowl, and I'm going to add my bacon bits, and I'm going to use this later. It's been about an hour and a half and I'm checking the potatoes now to make sure that they're done. I'm going to use two different cheeses and uh, pepperoni and I'm going to pull my potatoes out and start inserting my pepperoni into the slits of the potatoes. Uh, this is a little bit of a slow process. Uh, I'm using like a little uh, cooking stick here to kind of shove them down in there. 
Now what you don't really see, and it's kind of towards the end, is I had to cut the pepperoni in half for the ends because when you get to the ends, you'll find that you don't have as much space. So you'll see here that I'm using half pieces at the end of the potato. Now I got my tomato paste and then I'm going to uh, get my goodies there that I'm going to add to it and then I put it on the potatoes and I'm going to be spreading it out with a brush here in a moment and once I got that on I'm going to add my onions and my bacon bits to uh, give it even more flavor than before. Alright so now this is starting to look pretty darn good green onions, a little bit of bacon, can't go wrong with bacon, you know how that goes. Then it's time to cheese these puppies up. And so I put a whole bunch of regular cheese on and after that I'm going to be adding a little bit of my vegan cheese I'm using up. It's kind of a strong cheese so I don't use a whole lot of the vegan cheese. But yeah, here it is right there and I'm ready to start cooking. So I throw these into the uh, trigger and then I go grab my asparagus and I add those in too and this will take about 15 to 20 minutes and we're ready to eat. Now over the excitement of cooking all this I didn't get the best pictures of the finished product but I can assure you they were very good and go great with sour cream. Hey thanks for watching Outdoor Travel Channel and Cooking with the Traeger. Please take the time to like, subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd really appreciate it. Talk to you later guys. Bye.